WWE Survivor Series emanating from Vancouver, Canada. It is happening this weekend. We have two War Games matches, a family at odds joined by another Samoan and the best in the world, CM Punk. We have the Women's War Games match, which is basically just a lot of women just thrown into the match but it's going to be great i know it's going to be great we have both mid-card championships the men's intercontinental title and the men's united states title on the line and of course we've got to make the point of saying it's the men's now because the women both have an ic title and the us title and we have the world heavyweight champion not the wwe champion cody Rhodes, the world heavyweight champion gunther defending his title against damian priest we're going to get into some predictions let me know your thoughts down below in the comments as i go through them and of course if you're like me in the uk this starts earlier i like 11 p.m i think on saturday night gotta love it can't complain let's get into those predictions Intercontinental Championship on the line. The champion, Bron Breaker, defending against Sheamus and Ludwig Kaiser. Great, great match we're going to get. I feel it in my bones. Sheamus has been so good since he's come back. He hasn't hit the, the tippy tops of where he was maybe a couple years ago in that kind of singles pursuit for the IC title. But it's been great to have him back. Bron Breaker, the young upstart, looking strong, looking great. And of course, Ludwig Kaiser out to prove to Gunther as well as himself that he is his own man. And Ludwig Kaiser, for me, he's a bit of a wild card in this match. I don't think Sheamus will win his first ever IC title in a triple threat match I think if that ever happens for him it will happen in a one-on-one -on -one singles match Ludwig Kaiser could be somebody that wins the title here and maybe even as early as later on in the night he uses that to g up Gunther like you told me I had to be better look what I did I've went and won the intercontinental title now you go and be better and retain your world heavyweight title Ludwig Kaiser is a guy that's picking up steam very quickly in the WWE so I definitely think that I someone that could become champion here however I think I'll slow down and I'll go with the champion, Bron Breaker, to retain the championship. He's literally just won this back, you know, a matter of weeks ago. So I wouldn't like to think they're going to take this off him again. So yeah, I'm going to go with Bron Breaker to retain the Intercontinental title. The Men's United States Championship is on the line. LA Knight, the champion, is defending against Shinsuke Nakamura. This one has basically come out of nowhere and is also announced out of nowhere, being announced on social media. So. LA Knight has been having his title defences and after his title defences Shinsuke Nakamura has come out, attacked him, left him laying and all of a sudden Shinsuke Nakamura is the number one contender to the Intercontinental Championship and gets an opportunity on a pay-per-view or a PLE as they call it. So yeah, one of them ones where it's just like, okay, okay, we'll, we'll see where this goes. Now, you know, the math should say that LA Knight wins. However, from what the IWC is saying, a lot of people are kind of open to Shinsuke Nakamura winning the United States Championship here as long as it pushes LA Knight up the card, which personally speaking, I'm all right for LA Knight being roughly where he is right now. Like, I don't need LA Knight to become a world heavyweight champion anytime soon. So up the card could mean that, yeah, he's just contending in that arena, but I'm happy where he is right now. Um, Shinsuke Nakamura, I done a video a matter of weeks ago. I don't know whether to be excited about Shinsuke Nakamura returning, getting this kind of opportunity, even winning the United States Championship. Would love to see it if they go on to, you know, then book him in an intelligent way and make it all make sense. But if it's just going to be the latest version of Shinsuke Nakamura WWE repackages, then drop me out of it. Like, I don't want to see it. However, for my prediction, I will stick with the champion, LA Knight, defending the championship. Maybe him and Shinsuke go at it one more time and maybe that is when we get the title switcheroo. But for now, LA Knight to retain. The World Heavyweight Championship is on the line. Gunther, the champion, defending it against Damian Priest. Damian Priest has accused Gunther of losing his aura. You're not the same guy. I don't buy all this bravado you have that, you know, if you want to be the champion, of the ring I am the champion of the streets or the king of the streets is what he called himself and Damien Priest in this 
program has put up some really good promo performances if you ask me I think he's done some really good stuff to put himself over and he needed this in a way I would say you know going into the two hour era of Raw you know this back end of the year he wasn't really on TV for a lot of it the, those initial episodes so when he found his way back to Raw and then got involved with Gunter again I think yeah he's really delivered on these performances these promos he looks strong every single time he's been faced with Gunther but I'm afraid I think this is where it ends at the pay-per-view because I'm very very certain Gunther is going to retain this title now I don't know whether it's going to be hook or by crook there's still a Finn Balor a jealous Finn Balor you know Roman in the background might cost Damian Priest again that would be very repetitive but if they want to maybe try and keep Priest looking strong some way somehow maybe Ludwig Kaiser has to come out and help Gunther retain it and that kind of Gunther retains but then that starts a bit of a uh, a crack in the friendship between Ludwig Kaiser and Gunther something like that could happen as well but I do think whatever it is whatever the weather Gunther is going to retain the world heavyweight title at Survivor Series and yeah I don't know where that puts Damian Priest but Gunther I think that's another conversation about how Gunther's being booked right now and how he is being presented I'm not too happy with that but yeah Gunther to retain the world heavyweight title the women's war games match the participants are as follows we have Rhea Ripley, Bianca Belair, Bailey, Naomi and Io Sky on one side and Liv Morgan, Nia Jax, Raquel Rodriguez, Tiffany Stratton, Candice LeRae on the other side. Like I said earlier on, these guys have all come together. They've got their own little individual beefs as well as on the teams. They've got their own individual beefs like Bailey and Bianca Belair. We're not too sure of their friendship. Io Sky kicked Bailey out of damage control. On the other side, we've had Liv Morgan and Nia Jax who kind of squashed their beef, you know, following um, the Saudi show where they had their big crown jewel match. But like, yeah, there's a lot of kind of interconnecting stories here and they've just banged it all together and said, you women, 10 of you get in a ring, double cage, war games. And we're probably going to see the likes of Io Sky put herself in a dustbin and jump off a cage. All the usual favourite hits. It's going to happen. And I think this match is going to be excellent. However, we don't need to overkill the war games gimmick. And I feel like this year, in this instance, this is an overkill of the war games gimmick. It didn't need to be. This could have been like the trademark, you know, five on five elimination match for Survivor Series. Then you get in a war games match with the men and you get in a Survivor Series elimination match with the women. But they've chosen to put them in a cage as well. Fair enough. It's going to be a great match. That's one thing the women always do when they get these big stipulation matches. They they do always deliver who's going to win hmm, I'm actually not too sure I think this might be one of the hardest ones to call on the card I think for now I might go with team Liv because you've got two women's champions on that team like can they lose are they allowed to <laughs> like I do think maybe that team gets the win the other team probably has more of the dysfunctional issues that might that might play into the finish so for now I think I'm going to go with Liv Morgan and her team last but not least we have the big bloodline match family versus family with a couple of extras on the side who's involved in this one let's go through the participants Roman Reigns, Sami Zayn, The Usos, that's the OG bloodline plus CM Punk going up against Wolfpack bloodline, Solo Sokoa, Jacob Fatu, Tamatonga, Tangaloa and their mercenary Big Bronson Reed. Now I was quite happy with this just being four on four, bloodline on bloodline, family on family. A good old family feud without any additions making it five on five. However, the addition of Bronson Reed to Wolfpack Bloodline has been an absolute masterstroke. He looks the part. He looks like he should go off and form a tag team with Jacob Fatu. Like he just fits in. I mean, after all, he, he is Samoan as well. But just in terms of look, placement, level of aggression he looks like he belongs cm punk joining the og bloodline as a favor to paul Heyman, the original paul Heyman guy we're here talking og bloodline this is og Heyman guy like this all makes sense and remember Heyman asked punk back in june take me with you this is almost punk kind of you know helping Heyman out in a situation Heyman's old running crew and I definitely say old running crew because I don't know where Heyman's loyalties lie 
I do not know. I just know that I don't think it's with Roman Reigns. But we will get there. We will get there. I do think, though, this match is going to be a lot of fun. It's a lot more personal, I think, than the women's one. I do think on the night, the OG bloodline will come out on top. They recently took a loss kind of as a team at Crown Jewel. I don't think that happens again. I think the OG bloodline will get the win with Roman Reigns and CM Punk on the same side. I just think 100% one of those guys is going to do the final nail in the coffin to the rogue bloodline the wolfpack bloodline it could be cm punk cm punk could get the the winning pin maybe that kind of makes the likes of a seth rollins even more irate you know i think the likes of roman reigns could possibly pin a solo sikoa and you know solo says oh you're not better than me just because you pinned me in a multi-man match let's have a one-on-one -on -one, and then that can help to motivate that like I just think the OG Bloodline have got this one in the bag. And yeah, it's going to be a fun affair. Like, this is what War Games is going to be all about. And will we get The Rock turning up right at the end of the match? We're going to have to wait and see. So guys, those are my WWE Survivor Series War Games predictions. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Any surprises, anything I haven't thought of, let me know your thoughts, your theories, your predictions down below in the comments if you like today's video please hit the thumbs up button i really appreciate that and if you're new to the channel welcome to the channel my name's mex i make videos on wwe and aew so if that sounds like something you're interested in please hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you get notified each and every time i drop a new video wrestlemaniac uk signing out and i'll see you soon